Fishing, aren't we? Hey, eh? I know. Exciting stuff, Ben. I, Ben. I, you can't sit at the front. That's where the boss sits. You'll be in trouble when she gets in. You're gonna catch anything today? Hmm? You're gonna catch anything? Lovely girl, aren't you? Hmm? Bit of a fruit bat, but lovely girl. Whoa, lots of fish. A lot of fish here, too. Beautiful. Fish everywhere. So we're not fishing here because it's a bit high up. I quite fancy jumping in off here later. Some people have been night fishing I think. So if you've watched some of our fishing vlogs before, some of our best catches have been over on there. Where that weed finishes there, there's a bit of a, a point that comes out. When the wind's blowing in this way, it pushes, pushes all the fish, all the tilapia, into your face. It's like shelling peas one after the other, but we can't get on there at the moment because it's just totally flooded. But it's looking great. So the fish might be spread out, but the good thing is the water level didn't drop low enough for people to use throwing nets, uh, throwing nets and use electric shock. So. The last time we fished here, there was loads of baby fish. So at least they've had time to uh, grow big and reproduce. But on this corner here, there's bloody thousands of them. But we keep nets not that long. Looking good. Right, let's get going. We're going to be growing, fishing underneath those eucalyptus down there. But we can't go by our normal route, so Toon's just cut a couple of steps into the side of the, the hill. We've thrown all the gear down there. Are these going to take my KG, these steps? I'll keep rolling just in case I fall. Very good. Wait. Koi jub, one nib crab, and one bigger crab with one claw. So we found them in the first 15 20 minutes that we got here, and then we were fishing here under the eucalyptus, but it wasn't great. I think we caught about four, one half decent one, three tiddlers. So where we've actually located the fish is in the car park. Because it's the uh, back end of the rainy season, this place fills up with water quite rapidly. And it's normally dry from here all the way around here. And we normally park just down here. And yet it's about two foot deep. So, I don't know about other fish, but Thai fish love to move with the uh, the water when it's going over new ground. Lots of things for them to eat. So the tilapia and the doctor fish, that's Benin and uh, Bamor. Uh, we found a little hot spot just down here where it funnels through from there. Some guys are going to put a, a funnel here so that when this all drops, all the water drops in another month or two. It'll leave a lot of the fish stranded. So it looks a lot of water at the moment, but if you think it's only two foot deep all the way across. So, one of the other problems we've had today, apart from not being comfy, we're okay now, but before it wasn't comfy, is um, 
we can't get the big enough shrimp to get on the hook. They're like a dust shrimp. So you put, put two or three on the hook, but two uses uses a meat hook, so the hook's bigger than the shrimp. Just gone back and checked the uh, shrimp traps, so any better this time? Yes. Good, good, good. Never in any doubt. Better, isn't it? The fish can find them. Right, back to work. Catch our dinner. Chop, chop. Yeah. I'm going to show you a doctor fish or bamor, otherwise known as the climbing perch, and that's why they <laughs> call climbing perch. Go well, mate, have another go. It's not very easy holding the camera and the rod. I normally stick the camera on my head. So that is size 16 animal hook, which is a uh, eyed and barbed. A little live shrimp on there. This one's got about a size 10. The bigger shrimp on. Let's see, Sue's is the best then. Go on then. <coughs> I think my shrimp was bigger than that one. Oh, look at that, everyone. Stealing my swim. I don't, that nice one, your swim, is it? That bit of water with my float in your swim. Fish on you. Uh, is that a fish? Is that my shrimp? Uh, oh, Tune's got it. Practically the same size. Hang on, can't. About the same size, really. Not a lot in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a bit bloody that one. Never mind. This sometimes happens once you start getting a lot of bites, and the big ones move out, and the small, big shoals of small ones come in. You just have to battle through it. That is bullshit. It's the first time I've ever fished in a car park, I know that. Had a lovely packed lunch as well, haven't we, missus? Mm. What was it? I don't know what it's called. Lapmu. Lapmu. Spicy. So it got minced pork, pork liver, mm. intestines, mm. and then what? Coriander, spring onion, garlic. It's quite sour, isn't it? But everything's just either boiled or uh, just run through some hot water for some boiled water for a few minutes. And, uh, don't oh, get a grip. Uh, didn't have any rice with it, just straight, straight off. Which is great because there's about 50 chilies in it. This time, big one for the camera. Don't lose it, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> You're welcome. Where's mine then? <gasps> Stabbed you. Drawn blood. I can't get anything. Well, we've decided to bin it. The thunder clouds are rolling in, along with some scary thunder. So the wind direction has changed and it's bringing it straight for us. So we thought we were going to get away with it, but it looks otherwise. Toon's just checking the last of the pots. Been very poor for shrimp today. Still only two crabs. Why are you jumping in? I'd love to, but we've got to get in the car and we haven't got to change the clothes or a towel. Normally we bring everything with us, but. 
next time wild swimming wild fishing okay let's see what we got well I've got a crab on it not bad enough for dinner Dirt face in there. Well, I didn't catch the small ones, did I? No, you What I was doing was catching all the small ones to grow big in the pond. Bambi, what the fuck you do down here? We're ready to go. You in my Bambi? You alright doing that or do you want me to do it? Oh, one in. You alright? Oh, one out. Oh, in, see? No, that one. Oh, only one. Oh, that it? All big you got? Oh, <laughs> right. This is a tricky bit. We've got to get up that wall now. That is like out of gladiators. Right. Gladiators time. This is like when Hawk and Shadow were chasing them. And Gladiator show. Quick, 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 quick. That's all right, you haven't got dodgy knees, have you? Oh, that's not going well. <laughs> Two steps forward, one step back. Oh, God. Wow, you're oh. good. Thank you. Yeah, well, she's got four legs, hasn't she? Got the fish, that's the main thing. You'll be all right, won't you? Oh, God. You're not with your homie, are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Slippy fucking flip flop, isn't it? Slippy fucking flip flop. Put your net in your other hand. Put your net in your other hand. Oh, that's it. One, two, three. Hang on. Are you going to try and put your feet on a step, or are you just going to... Right, what? you not pull, I, I'll pull you yeah. Minute, minute. I've not got you yet. <laughs> <laughs> that went well. Are you ready, Bambi? Let's go. Let's go. 